Good morning, people. Uh, this is Dave with uh, Lost Farm Homestead. I'm out here this morning. It is July 19th ish, uh, about 8 30 in the morning. It's about 90 degrees right now. It's projected to be to 100 by about 9 o'clock. So it's going to be about 118 today. And so I'm out here in the backyard at the house in town. And we're going to put up a shade structure across the back here to cool it down a little bit inside of this area. We have our garden out here. It's been getting hit pretty good the last couple of days with the heat. And so we're gonna try and keep it from uh, getting completely destroyed out here. And it's very, very hot. So um, so this is what I got right now. Um, I've got uh, oh, coffee, morning coffee. So I got uh, a bunch of uh, thimble clips here and some bolt snaps, quick links, um, some screw eyes and turnbuckles and I got the DeWalt out here. Some cable and a wire cutter, um, drill bits, zip ties, and this is the plan right here. So, it's very crudely drawn so I apologize but um, see we're going to put across the back of the wall in the back we're going to put four eye hooks at 12 foot apart and then I've got posts that I put in um, eight feet four foot twelve four and eight and this actually is a little bit different because this didn't work out the way that it was supposed to what we ended up doing is shifting this and this ended up lining up here sorry this one ended up lining up here so we eliminated this post and then we just put these ones in a little bit farther over so that they line up because the the shade cloth that we have is 12 foot by 20 so it'll be 12 this way 20 this way and we're going to put three of them here and then we're going to put one across here this way across the front of the porch area because our porch comes out like this and then this area here is where the ac units are where we have the grape trellis at so this is i came through here last night and put the posts in and I already dug out and put the posts in. I didn't want to be doing that first thing in the morning. So I figured if I got these in here, then I could just uh, come out and <clears throat> take down the existing shade cloths that we have back here. And then just switch them out with some newer ones. So that's that right there. And then you can see here we have the existing shade cloths coming off of the porch here. Out across to the wall over there and the kitty pool up against the wall and I have to move that but you can see where we got it attached to the wall so I'm gonna pull this one out right here that one I'm gonna pull out and move over so that it lines up with this post right here straight back and then I'm gonna add a new one over here that's gonna go behind that and then that one's gonna stay where it is because it lines up with this one here and then I'm gonna add one 12 feet over right where that uh, ladders at right there I already started drilling. I don't know if you can see that. I started playing with it already this morning, so decided I better come in here and get some video. So um, I'm gonna hook up the uh, concrete drill to this for for CMU. I'm gonna hook that up to this and get that hole drilled. And then I've got one. I got a couple of these guys that I'm gonna use. And then the middle ones, I want to use these because they'll hold a lot better. And this, I don't know if you can actually buy this. I kind of just uh, found some molly clips and then found some eye hooks and then found, you know, got it to match up so that they work together. The problem I've been having, though, is that the CMU is thicker than, and I can't get it to go back far enough to, to expand inside of it. So it's kind of a pain to get that to work. But... I got the one to work, so I just need to get this one in. I'll have to fight with it a little bit, but I'll get it in there. And then uh, once I get that all set up across the back with the the four eye hooks, then I got to take these ones here that are on the side of the porch, and I got to move them from the front to the side because they're too close together for the <clears throat> 12, the 20 feet. They're they're just a couple of inches short, so I'm gonna move them from the front around to the side and kind of stretch it a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to have to fill those holes with silicone to, to keep it waterproof. And then once I get that, then it's just going to be a matter of stringing the cable. 
So I got all the cable right here, 150 feet of cable, and then I got all of these hardwares. And I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to need for hardware. I kind of just took the diagram and did a quick guess while we were sitting in the parking lot and just kind of added some things up in my head. And hopefully that'll be what we need. Because the worst thing is always to have to leave in the middle of a project to go and get more or different gear because you got the wrong stuff in the beginning. So hopefully that won't happen. So I'm gonna get on this thing before it gets hot. It's already it's already like 90 right now. I'm sweating. So I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and get on this thing. So thanks. <laughs> So it's about nine o'clock ish, about a hundred degrees out here right now. It is hot. Um, this took a little bit longer than I thought. I, I had hoped it would go a little bit faster, but it took a little bit longer. So that's fine. So, anyways, next step. So we're gonna string the uh, the cables across, and we're gonna go from there to there, and then the sides run it through. You saw on the diagram how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna start running those, and then we got here. Here we have the shade cloths. These are uh, <clears throat> 12 by 20, and there's four of them. So we're gonna go like this. Let's see here, I got a bit of a mess going on. So I'm gonna put three this way, coming across the back, and then this one's gonna go sideways across the, the little porch pop-out thing right here. So, and we're gonna run it right through here, and then the other ones are gonna go across this way there will be three of them so all right so I'm gonna get stringing these cables across and then once I get that done then I'm gonna hang the uh, the shades on top of them and then zip tie it all down the edges to the cables so hopefully that'll keep it from getting too crazy we haven't had monsoon out here yet so it hasn't been wind tested. We had the other ones wind tested last year and we lost one of them pulled out. That's why I had the uh, the molly anchors because the, the regular screw in pulled out during monsoon last year. But I'm thinking if we have the two molly ones in the center, then I can use the screw in ones on the ends. And then if they do pull out, I'll just get some more of the mollies. I was just working with what I had, so. All right, so I'm gonna get this going. Uh, all right, keep watching. Alright, so after a few minutes of figuring on how would be the best way to do this, I have decided that it'd probably be best to uh, take off the old stuff, disassemble what we have, and then use that stuff first. And then once we run out of this stuff, break into the newer stuff. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and open these up. You know what? I need better tools. Time out. Okay, all right, so these little tool sets are kind of not really very good for anything heavy, but for little stuff around the house, man, they really uh, <clears throat> they really work well and do the job. So I'm going to use this guy. Oops, turn it the other way. Okay, come on. There we go. So I'm going to get this thing going so, yeah for little tools little little jobs like this these things work really good 
just little stuff around the house. I mean, if you got like major things that you got to take care of, big like working on vehicles or any other kind of major thing like that, these aren't really very good for that. But <clears throat> it is actually very good for this job, so definitely better than messing around with that adjustable. Oh yeah. All right, so we got. Whoa, hey, watch it. Sorry about that. All right, so we got these guys. <clears throat> yeah. I got a turnbuckle with a hook and a clip on the end of it. So that's one side. Let's see what we got on the other end of it. Okay. All right. And it looks like we've got kind of pretty much the same setup over here. Now I set all of these up kind of pretty much the same way. So some of them have a little heavier hardware than others. It was honestly, I'm not gonna try to act like it's anything other than it was. What it was was that <clears throat> I got was available and used it. So when I bought the stuff, <clears throat> there was certain ones that were there and I tried to get as many of the big ones as I could. And then when the big ones ran out, I just grabbed the little ones and used those. So but that's okay. I mean, it works, right? <clears throat> so, I don't complain a whole lot. I'm used to working with what I've got anyways, so. Sometimes, oh wow, look at that. It's missing. <laughs> Alright, note to self. Anyway, so, yeah, a lot of times we just work with what we've got. Mm -hmm. It usually works out pretty well for the most part, but sometimes we can afford to get the things that we need to do things you know, the right way, but sometimes things are spendy and, you know, like lumber right now, holy cow. Anyone that has to buy lumber right now, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, so I got some extra cable here. We probably won't be able to reuse that cable because it's going to be uh, short for what we need because the the lengths that we're working with right now are 12 and 20 feet. And these were stretched in between about 30 foot space, but they're the triangle ones. So they had different odd lengths in between them, and I just clipped a chunk and then stretched it out and tightened it up and then cut off the excess. So I'm not sure exactly how long these are, but I know that they will not span a 20 foot space. So we're just gonna put those to the side. Also, I already got that, uh, those three 50 foot lengths. So I think that we're good on cable, but one of the other things is that when I got this original cable, um, I got it uh, coated. It's plastic coated, which I'm looking back, I'm not sure that was such a good idea because of the heat. I mean, it did pretty good. It's not, you know, it was only out there one season and did pretty good, I'd say. But eventually it would have, you know, dried up and cracked and come off of there, you know. It would have been bad eventually, so. So the new cable that I got is bare. It is not plastic lined. So that's <clears throat> that's good. Don't gotta worry about the plastic. So, see how that works out. shape cloths first, it might cool it off a bit, and then make it cooler when I'm doing the 
cables. So I'm thinking it might go that way. So. All right, let's get these hooked up. I'm going to use a bunch of these. All right, these. Quick clips. I got some more over here. Quick links. So, all right, I'm going to start hooking these up. Let's see if I can cool it off a bit out here. It's really hot. So we got all the shade cloths up. Um, this one here, I gotta, I gotta stretch this one. I'm thinking maybe uh, here. I'm thinking here on the corner, right here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a eye bolt and put it down here, and then bring that up and over, and hook it onto here so it pulls it kind of tight. I'm not sure if it'll work. I may have to. Uh, do some rigging up in the middle of this part so that it hooks onto there and comes down properly but I'll get that worked out anyways so here you can see here this one this one came in real nice all the way down like that I don't know if you can see all the way down it is noticeably cooler in here I got a breeze coming through um, I have to say like 15 maybe 20 degrees cooler in the shade and this is looking real good right now you know, we got a bit of trash laying around you know kids play and stuff so we got kitty toys all over but I mean as far as like the shade look at this huh got almost full shade right there I'm sure it'll get a lot of it during the day the bananas are doing looking real good right there this yep got all the beets are in the shade yep and back here this is looking real good right now so I'm liking this this is good. I just got to do something about that guy right there. He's a little bit droopy, but 
Maybe when I put the cables in, um, maybe it'll tighten things up a little bit. I'm gonna stitch these together here in the middle with, uh, I'm gonna put a cable right down the middle of that and then squeeze those together and run them with a uh, zip tie. And hopefully that'll keep it nice and tight. Also this one, same thing. And uh, we have on order some outdoor lights um, that are solar. So I'll get the solar hook up and hook those up and get them running so that we have lights out here at night. And that'll be really good. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I think I'm gonna run the cables for the big ones and then uh, tie those all together. And I think I'll deal with this droopy one last because I'm still not sure how I'm gonna handle that. So I need some water, it's hot. All right, keep watching. So this is where I'm gonna leave it right now. It's really, really hot out here. Um, and I'll show you what we got, and then uh, I'm actually gonna come out later tonight when it cools off and do a few extra things. I'll tell you about it, and then I'll show you the finished product uh, later on, like uh, tomorrow or the next couple of days. I was gonna do a garden update tour, show you guys what's happening with all of our stuff that we put out here in the last while, and it's all doing really good. So let me show you where I'm at right now. So this area here. This looks good right here. I'm okay with this, how it is. Um, I think I was planning to string these together. Um, I'm gonna need some longer zip ties because the ones that I have are too short. So um, I'll see what I have on that and maybe stitch these together. I might just leave this one open because the tree right here, see the tree right here to grow up through. So I might just leave this one open and then stitch that one closed. And I may just leave those and then only have the cables for the lights. So I'm still kind of back and forth on that. This guy, I need to do something with this. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. I'm still not sure how, but I need more hardware before I can do it. And it's really, really hot. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to leave it like this for the time being. And uh, I'll come out and work on it some more at a different time uh, later tonight once I figure out what I want to do and uh, go from there. So thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, thanks.